Uh oh. Okay, that's over on the in the Spreaker, by the way. So Spreaker's going to be fucked up. <laughs> oh well. Good news who cares? travels fast. Yeah, well, you know the lunatics are on the path. Apparently, no, the lunatics are on the table. Oh well, no, those are dorks. But yeah, dorks, dorks are the table, lady. <laughs> dorks are really, really closely related to lunatics. According to you. Well, yeah, because I'm both. Because I got so, a little bit of both in, running yeah, around in there. You know I don't allow you to speak for me as a group. <laughs> I, I know, because you got entirely too many flashers in there. Hey, guess so what? I'm you know what? We're on the dork table right now. Yes. <laughs> the dork table rides again. Yes, it does. <laughs> and this is Grammy Dork or Dorky Grams, and the E stands for effervescent. Um, ah, effervescent today. Yes. yes, effervescent. Yes, Grimmy, that was a <laughs> that was a very abrupt end to that, but it goes right into eclipse, and so and it didn't want to do that right into, so it. <laughs> yeah, I know it was like tunk, tunk. it was done. So it's like over here, huh? Dropping the soap. It's like dropping the soap. Oh, don't drop the soap, Ben. Over. Hi, Ben. <laughs> 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 Not my bathroom. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, okay. Door table time, everybody. Yes, it is. Grab, it? grab your tin foil and your vibrator and sit down. Whee! <laughs> and spin, spin. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> yeah. Over on Twitter, thank you, Barman, for tweeting us over on Twitter. Truly, do appreciate it. Let me see who's listening in. Oh, if anybody's man. listening in over here, I don't know if anybody's listening in over here in the corner pocket, but hey. I see Sock is over there, and uh, Bill. Uh, it's early. You never know. It's oily. Yep. And let's see who it's else. Saturday, oh, too. JJ's left. JJ's. Uh, whatever. Scott's. Uh, I know. They can barely understand us anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Those kilty buggers anyway. And oh, <laughs> you and your obsession for ball sex is just ridiculous. <laughs> I can't wait to have skid marks on my skirt. Ooh, Scots, yeah. <laughs> Say oh. hi to all the nice people out in the all Hey, program. all the nice people out there. Um, over here on this effing site. I'm not sure who's over here on this effing site. I see Estrella is <laughs> posting stuff like crazy. Estrella! Yeah, oh, and who is that? Who is that? Oh. No. My I page refre refreshed. It was so refreshing. <laughs> Bobby is here. Hi, Bobby. I hey, also see Java Doctor Bobby. was over here, too. Hey, Java. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm and Grimmy has been over here letting people know that the dork table is live right now. Right here. Right now. Right here. Uh, live. Hmm? Huh? We're live. And in person. Well, not in person. And but we're, we're coming in from two actual two time zones at the same exact time. Try explaining that to your five-year-old someday. I don't have a five-year-old, so I don't have to do that. Ha, 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 ha. Moosey's here. Moosey. Hey, Moose. Borrow the moose. a five-year-old. There's plenty around to choose from. Yeah. Mm, yep. It's either you or the pedophiles in Hollywood are going to get them all and fuck them. So mm. you might as well get them first. I will <laughs> and not fuck. <laughs> I, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, over here on the RLM, you know what? Barman is right up top because, yay, he's the barman. And he knows all and does all. And he's just barman. Barman! And then there's Grimmy and Moose Girl who did the Freaker's Ball last night. And I listened to a very, Girl. very little. And Moose Girl. Yeah, I, I went in and had a nice long soak in the tub, and I couldn't hear. Yeah, that's, that's what we used to call it, too. <laughs> people go, damn, you, you, you are very clean people. Yes, we are. <laughs> well, I couldn't, I don't, I need to put speakers on this computer, because I had it going and couldn't hear it. Mm. Okay, I also see Asmodeus Asmo is here, as well as BTC Bob and Chalcedony. Jeez, Denis. Uh, Chal the Stone Chalced. I, you know what? what? I asked what that name meant. Oh yeah, what does it mean? It's a stone. Stone. Oh cool. 
So I thought I'd inform you, being as I'm your partner on this thing. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Lucky you. <laughs> I know. I feel special. Oh, wait till you hear my topic today. You're gonna. You're probably going to cry. Mm, oh, that's not hard for me to do. I watched one of my nieces doing a dance routine earlier, and it's like, oh, yeah, mm. I got all soggy-eyed. Um, Chloe, got a double dip in the Chloe here. Chloe, Chloe. Oh, yeah, see, and Moosey agreed. Chalcedony is a, sno is a stone. So is he stoner you know, or just a agreeing, stone? Agreeing with a fact does not change the fact. No, just it just reinforces that. it. And it shows everybody how freaking smart you are. That's right. That's right. Well, Moosey is you know smart. What? Somebody, somebody's called Moose a bad name on the RLM chat last week, and she's proving that they are absolutely wrong by being smart. See, and you know what? And as far as I'm concerned, if, if someone calls me a bad name or insult, tries to insult me in some way, if I really don't um, care about them mm -hmm. all that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you well, know, that's most you, of us. Well, Come you on, know, Mary. I mean, if it's one of those things where I don't really value their opinion, it's not like that's going to hurt. And if I don't I have to wear like, whatever yeah. badge they try and slap on me. I can go, what? <laughs> missed me. If I can't touch it, it's not there. Ah, see? That's Ooh. how I do it. And if trust no one said that you can put your oh. finger up and you still got an awful lot of empty space. You're just imagining your finger is there. So, because oh. you are lots and lots <laughs> of space. We are traveling in space and we I are space. Know, <clears throat> I know Moose Girl didn't get her panties in a wad in any way. I did because I thought it was, uh, I don't know. I I think that if you're going to insult somebody, they do you sh they should have earned it somehow, and there was no reason for all that. So, eh. you know you what, know, Moosey? What doesn't rub you, baby. <laughs> hey, Moosey, you know what? I put my panties in a wad sometimes when I'm trying to play basketball with a hamper. I rarely hit, oh. but you know. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Fact. Number 338 <laughs> that Harry told me that I do not want to remember. <laughs> it's been wild, Mary. Continue. <laughs> hey, there's a dorky Grams here. <laughs> and, oh. and she's sharing sharing yeah, intimate TMI things. Yeah. yeah, it's the wad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I ain't going to say anything now. Oh. <laughs> I be Don C is here, <laughs> as well as Java, 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 Doctor T, and I see JJ's is logged in, as well as Juana hey, Taco. We Juana got a Taco Juana, Juana, Juana. You know what? I got stuff going in the oven. I slow cooking today. Uh, what you making? I'm I'm cooking a a bone in ham so that um. We can have ham sandwiches, and then I'm going to make ham and beans because Amy and James are coming over to do some more work, and if I feed them, they don't uh -huh. charge me. Well, that's a deal. That's uh -huh. how it should be. Yeah. You know, that's really how life should run is you do that for each other, and they give you shit, and you give them shit and do shit. Yeah. But no, it's turned into this fucking pretend plastic night nightmare that we live in. And I'm kind of like having a good time with it, though. Anyway. Ah, next. Anyway, next. Uh, rain. Rain, 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 rain. That's almost, Lord, rain. Al almost like a ring-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding. One ringy-dingy. RLM Fluky is here. Uh, the Fluke is here. Mm. Yes, the Fluke. The Vanna White of the RLM channel. I also see Rob Works is here. Where's the tiny bubbler? Bubbler. It's bubbles. He's, he's the bubbler. <laughs> He, he always brings the bubbler. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a joke earlier today. Yeah. Uh, remember remember when we were kids? Did you used to blow bubbles? <laughs> the neighbor's dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, Bubbles is back in town and looking for you. So, yeah. -dum -bum -bum. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. But, you know, I was I, I worked as a waiter in a in an all-night place when i was in my early 20s and one night i had a 
it was a bunch of drunks at all these tables. So they're telling jokes. So I start jumped in on all the jokes and we're all telling jokes. And this girl looks up at me and says, waiter, do you, uh, do you know, uh, how to, how to please a woman? And you're supposed to say no, how? And I said, uh, well, I'm kind of busy right now, but if you can hang around till eight o'clock, I'll be happy to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Killed her joke. <laughs> Made my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll bet she laughed. Yes. I don't remember. It's this been many, many years, but ah. I remember telling the joke. I fucked the audience. I was the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> they were just supposed to give me money. I didn't, didn't want to take them home with me. You know what I mean? Ah, but you were going to please her later. Hey, what? trusty fellow. There's a trusty, trusty fellow in the chat. <laughs> Oh, Make it so. Alan B is yeah. here too. I think I know that oh. guy. Hey, oh, Alan. I know yeah. him too. You do? Colfax 101 is also logged in, as well as Dima! <laughs> Dima! Yes. And the lovely Dorky Lynn is here. Hey, ta, Lynn. ta 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 As well as Dork Nasty. I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> I also see Gooberzilla, Goober, 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 Goober. Yeah. You know, I can't help it. Whenever I see that, I think of Gomer Pyle, mm. but and Godzilla. Go- it's you know, it's like when Godzilla and Gomer Pyle made it, and Gooberzilla is what happened. It's like, whoa, dude, uh, that's uh, what happens oh. in my mind. It's a scary place. Don't wander around in there, not without no. a guide well, and mm. a gun. Yeah, Sounds that dangerous. too. That too. I also see Jehovah One is here. And Jehovah one. I uh, know, yeah. And Kozu. Kozu. And moi, 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 moi. No, 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 no. <laughs> you do it. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Could be something different than what you're reading. I don't know. I don't even want to step in that one. Ah, okay. I also yeah. see Poxified is here. Who is placing a pox upon all those that are being douchebags? Hey. Caught part- me mid-hit. Part- hey, pox. Ooh, mid-hit. Oh, man, that's just rude. <laughs> Shall I do that again? Um, it's one of the finer moments of life, Mary. Don't downplay it. Oh, okay. pom po sauce is also logged Pom-pom-pom in, and look there. Sock yeah. puppet! Sock puppet! He's been no fixing sock. things. He's been Mr. Handyman. <laughs> yeah, well, you got a hurricane about, what, a month ago? Yeah, you know, she comes yeah, in, she wipes the place out, takes your house away, and then Sock comes in. Here he comes to save the day! Because he's Sock Puppet, and he's on his way. Wow. I know. Okay. Ain't that cool? Wow. Hey, Love yeah. Hate joined. I don't Sweet. know if I like that. Sweet. Sweet. Well, you know, it's a Love Hate thing. I want to pass a judgment, but I don't know which way to go. <laughs> How do you stay neutral on this one? That's a motherfucker to deal uh, with. When when you're shifting gears, you, the one where the N is, you want to light that up. Slim Jim Flim is here. Yo. Yeah, that Slim Jim that Flim that jerky that you peel the plastic wrapper down and then okay, no. and. <laughs> Oh, a fool and his part are soon moneyed. Oh, hey. That, I mean, oh. a fool and his money are soon parted. <laughs> I wonder if I that's think? why there's a black stripe on a credit card. So when you go to the strippers, you know where to swipe. <laughs> In any case. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn, stop that. <laughs> I'm never going to be the same after that one. <laughs> I wonder if I could get a lawyer and sue you for this. I think it damaged you. It damaged my imagination. <laughs> this has got to be beyond microaggression. <laughs> okay. Anyway, where were you? <laughs> Hello. I, was, I, was, I kept seeing a torque testicle, and it made torque. my brain go hey, boink. Oh, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. goodness. Phantom Hello. is here. Hi, Phantom. Phantom. Yo. Yay, it's Phantom. Okay, that's everybody. <laughs> and it's ah. under 20 minutes. Uh, hey, damn. I You're know. getting better every year. 
Oh, and it's, it's scary. Like every year, instead of older, you get younger while I age. Your <laughs> numbers reverse. Yeah, but that's that kind of that's because I keep spitting shit out, and you just go, "Whoa, damn!" She really said that out loud. You did. No, I got beyond that long ago with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was right about the your suit <laughs> episode. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I learned what it, where what walking the walk really meant. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I have to say this to you, Miss Mary, on this here, uh, what, October the 21st, 20 and 1-7. Now, we're going to document this for historians in the future because great minds have been arguing this bullshit for many many years or at least so we're told right uh-huh. and you come up you come up with that little thing the other day mm-hmm. well i have trouble believing that oswald shot kennedy so take it from that perspective and just imagine what i think of a book that was written thousands of years ago by you know <laughs> the, <laughs> the hand of god and yeah. i look around in modern day and i see all this bullshit that we live in You know, that we willingly all participate in because I don't see everybody, you know, going out and killing their self over it. But the control that these stories have over us is amazing. So why don't you enlighten them about what I just didn't say? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Because we were talking before the show about it and and it I figured you'd have fun taking off on this one. (laughs) Well, uh... It's one of those and things I'll where get, I just, yeah. I keep seeing, you know, and all these people, they, and I had this discussion earlier, not just with you, and it's like, seriously, y'all want me to worship a God that keeps a squeaky wheel around and gets rid of the problem solver. What the hell right. is wrong with this picture? It's all a matter of uh, how you apply the tool, I suppose. Well, obviously, Adam was a tool. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I think a lot of people claim a belief in this great book without ever having read it from cover to cover. Well, there is that. And I have read it from cover to cover once. once. Good Lord. I, don't, I didn't understand what I did read of it. And I went, no, this is like legalese. No, no it place is. in my life. It's worse than trying to read Shakespeare. And Shakespeare's contradictory. A you know, it's all right to do this, except if it's this day. I mean, it's so legal. And, well, and, and, it's like the rules to Canasta. You can do this, but <laughs> you can't do it with three. that. And, yeah. 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 So I've got it, li- liars poker. Anyway, so what we're talking about is uh, the Lilith story thing. Yeah. And but more the end not the story to go through it we've all heard the fucking story enough times but where me and mary got to was i told her you don't mind if i repeat this no in front of go everybody. right ahead go right ahead i told her that her explanation of how she took the story made her seem like a victim to me of men which is the very opposite of what i think of her so it was you know that's how i heard it when you spoke on the radio is the very thing that you don't want to be because of the way we've been taught to understand what you're saying is what you're being. It, it's a word game. Yeah. So whether or not my mind can accept what you're really trying to say, a part of me, that masculine men are better than women shit that we all got raised with one way or the other, it's there. See, and you brought it out going, wow, if you weren't my slave, I wouldn't treat you like one. Is my response to that? You know, if you eat, if you treat me like you're equal to me, you're going to get what you give, which yeah. is what you do. Yeah. So outside of seeing you as Mary the female, I never thought of you as Mary the weak female that can't do nothing without me because I'm a strong, tough guy. Yeah. Well. And I've given I've given you advice in situations that you just wouldn't take. Well, yeah. Didn't rock our friendship either way, and the results are going to be whatever the fuck results are going to be. So it didn't matter what you did. It was just something for us to, to talk about on the road. 
<laughs> you know, it's some people take other people's words so serious that um, they can't stand to hear them anymore. And well, I'm one of those people. Yeah. yeah. Well, some and sometimes they take them and they 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 hear them with their own preconceived. No- well, it's not sometimes. Yes, Everybody exactly. does that. They hear them with Training. their own preconceived notions. Training and education, Mary. Mm-hmm. Yep. And all training and education isn't on a level field. And some people think because they got a a piece of paper from a a paid-for source of information that they're superior to you, and you both know the same fucking thing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You don't find that amusing. Well, I, I, yeah, well, see, and a lot of times, I know enough people that have that piece of paper that's hanging in a frame on the wall and i just look at it and go you know one of these days that's going to make really good toilet paper you're going to have to work it a bit but yeah well well okay let me give you this example so you can understand how i see it i could read all the books there are available to me on how to have a child Mm -hmm. but i never in my lifespan ever have one so what would the purpose of knowing any of that be (laughs) See, I don't. I only learn things I can apply, or teach other people. And I think that the only thing you can teach others is things you have experience in, not some shit you read in a fucking book that, when you're 50 years old, you find out was a bunch of shit in the first place. So you've been spewing all this rubbish your whole fucking life, but you didn't know it, because that was what everybody else was taught, and it was all based on crap. Mm. Now, okay. Right? Yeah. You disagree with that? No, no. I, There's a lot of things that I grew up believing that now I look at them and I go, damn, I right. swallowed that hook, line, and sinker. Whew. Okay, and I think the intent of the system was to mold you into a compliant slave to the system, protecting the system from the people that don't want any part of the fucking system. Yeah. And there are some of us that truly don't. But it's so huge to live outside it now. Mountaintop, rabbits for toilet paper, maybe an occasional rabbit to eat. You know, that's your life. One that you don't use for toilet paper. Yeah, and then the one that you do. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> that's an eat shit thing. But Well, living outdoors can be rough, but it it can also be comfortable. <laughs> True. I'm just, I'm, I'm still stuck on this whole, you know, I'm trying to figure out how in the heck someone that wants absolutely nothing to do with something can be a danger to that something. How can... Uh, because of the verbal word. Yeah, but if it's, if it's going... The okay, I'm word. just going to ignore you. I'm going to stay over here and just do my thing and, and not play yeah. with you. Yeah. How is that, unless it's bruising to the fragile ego um hmm. oh out the two choices now nah, the ego thing that that's not what bothers me what bothers me is the negative train it takes me down you know because once i hit negative i love it i'm just as addicted to that as anybody else it's hard it's a lot of work to be a nice person it's easy for me to be a nasty person i mean do that in my sleep you know Ah. The dog wakes me up licking my face and licks my eyes in the morning sometimes. And I could, yeah, I, what the fuck? I could wake up and yell at her if I chose to. Because you know, that's like Hannibal, please. <laughs> that is the freaky deakiest feeling in the whole wide world. I mean, my my cat Doozer mm-hmm. wakes me up like that. She'll come in and she'll start licking my eyelashes and oh, it does yeah, that weird are. tickle the roof of your mouth shit, and, and just... we're so con- we're so conditioned to being herded that when we're being herded, we don't realize we're being herded. It's something different because of our understanding of what we see. Yeah, and then you get people like me that come along and say, you know, all this global crap has all been a big scam to fuck you out of your life, and people laugh at me. Hmm. Well, but they got to go to go home so they can watch the football game so they can go to bed and get up in the morning and go to work. 
And I could stay up all night with a jigsaw puzzle if I chose to. It doesn't interfere with anybody's life. One way or another. True. So, my responsibility in my mind is to me, not to anybody else. Not even Cirque. Cirque's just a, Cirque's kind of like a, a partner. And she goes along with what I want. And see, I'd heard, well, um, I watched The Da Vinci Code again the other day. Mm. And uh, there is a part in there where they're reading one of those Gospels that got kicked out of the Bible. <laughs> yeah, kicked out. Yeah, and, edited <laughs> yeah, the well, holy book. <laughs> yeah, because, well, you know, it just uh, did not further the please. agenda that they were going with. So, mm. oh, we can't yeah. have that. That must be heresy. Mm. So... <laughs> heresy that's a weird word too it's like this sea <laughs> of hair but in any case <laughs> wow i didn't go there <laughs> and if i did i'm sure my wife would correct me <laughs> <laughs> but in any case never mind that was a wife joke. see in in uh the da vinci code uh it had said that mary was the companion of jesus and uh, and that was like an Acme light bulb moment for Tom Hanks's character, and he went, ah, back in those times, companion meant wife, and yeah. so, so so I they prefer, say well, yes, but it wasn't in English in the first place. So whatever word they used was probably what Hebrew or Greek or some sh fucking old fucking thing, Latin, yeah, and then whatever word that is translated into English is probably been done a few times to get to get it right <laughs> yeah so for them to get the right word to your ear took a lot of people a lot of time yeah yeah it did and then to What's have it? me read it online and poke fun at it and and mm. call it bullshit i'm sure they're just ever so proud but to believe all right you might as well believe anything then i've i've read a lot of books and if i took them all for a any differently than the other books, I'd be a nut job by now. I would much rather believe in the Piers Anthony Xanth books because those are a lot of fun. They're very, very punny. Yeah. And they've got all kinds of mythical creatures like unicorns and pegasuses and, and harpies ooh, and... All that dorky shit that people make fun of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I like it. And so it's got it's magic, a, too. Uh, magic! Like yeah. Well, speaking of magic, mm -hmm. did how did you interpret my seeing you as a, a victim of the argument you were making? Because of the way you were explaining it is the training that I have to understand what you say directs me to a particular direction. You know what I mean? I well, didn't come from an equal men and women or equal household. I came from a pops the pop and everybody else does what they're fucking told. Now, see, we kind of sort of had one of those households, but when Dad yeah. wasn't home, then everybody just yeah. pitched in and yeah. just did their thing. Yeah. You know, we all... Exactly. ...to make sure yep. things got done. Yeah, um, that's and, the reality of it. Yeah, and I, I, I can see how it came across like that, mm. which is why sometimes conversation or just especially a one-sided conversation or in my case a multiple-sided conversation because y'all don't know how many people are running around in here <laughs> <laughs> yeah but well you didn't get insulted by it but no is there any value to it or is there a way because uh, i'm seeing it from that 90 percent men 10 percent female life i'm I've, i'm from well, I'm sure I wouldn't have gotten quite so torqued about it if it wasn't for the fact that it hit a sore spot. Mm. Ah, yeah, well, that was obvious. Yeah, But your, your, your problem was why I used the broken tool, and it had nothing to do with the religion. or the. It was like you thought beyond all that shit and went to a whole nother place. <laughs> yeah, I, well, and to me, that's what it was like. Why are you keeping that, that's that whole squeaky wheel thing? If you've got a wheel that keeps squeaking all the time mm -hmm. and you've tried all kinds of stuff and it still keeps squeaking, get rid of the fucking wheel. Right, but... That hmm, that's not how things work anymore. The squeaky wheel get, gets a little club and and support group, and they get 
coddled and patted on the back for trying. And, and they have a safe space. And yeah, and we yeah, grew yeah. up with uh, stay the fuck out from under them because they might step on you trying to get up. Yeah. We or knew, we you knew know. the truth. There was no good guys. There was people going to win and people going to lose. You know? Yeah. And now they, they've got this pretend fucking world where, oh, you say the word nigger and somebody's going to cry and sue you or whatever. Take some kind of monetary or physical fucking action to, to get you back for saying a word. A fucking word, Mary. Well, and yeah. that's why it's called spelling, though, because depending on how the words are placed or the intonation that you use, or all, yeah. it's casting okay. spells okay. on people. Okay. But do you realize how few people on this planet speak English or read English in the first damn place? It's not a fucking majority. No, it's not. It's no. not. But they got everybody in America convinced they run the fucking planet because of some exceptionalism bullshit. Tried it on me when I was a kid. Oh, look, there's that bubbler. Thank you, Rob Works. Well, you know, it is that uh, spell. They have got my. people... Under My friend. a spell. Yeah, I believe it. I believe what you're saying. I don't think this is natural for us to live the way we live. This is very abnormal. Is why That's the core of why we get along so badly. And yeah. tolerate it. And just keep doing it. Not even, you know, like block. Just block it and stop doing it. No, it's more fun to fucking do it than it is to not do it. Because of my upbringing. See, I was raised with it as a normal to be dominant and bullying. That was the way life was. It wasn't like, hey, people are going to do this to you when you're older. No, they started out as soon as I could figure out what they were saying. <laughs> yeah. See, Moosey, mm -hmm. I get that, that, you know, and there's a lot of times when I think I'm not under a spell and then I do something stupid or I say something equally mm -hmm. stupid. And you then I go, first, wait okay. Mary, Mary, a minute here. Mary, yes. it's not a natural thought, though. You have to be taught. Yes. I, I, I don't see this being under a spell. If you didn't know there was a spell to be under, it wouldn't bother you. So True. So the act, the act is the action necessary. Yeah, and, right. that, and I think the reason it bothers me when I, yeah. when I recognize it and acknowledge it is like, I fell for that. <laughs> How could I be so dumb and not? Because then, yeah. you know, once you realize it and you start uh. looking back on all of the times and you go, there was a clue. There was a clue. There was a, there was a big fucking sledgehammer clue right between the eyes. Yeah. You know, all of that fun stuff. And, and it's like, damn it. And then I still, you know, it's like when, when before I had kids and I always, I always told myself. That I would mm. never, ever, ever, ever say to my mm. kids, this is going to hurt me as much as it does you. <laughs> I always told myself I would never say that to my kids. And you know what? <laughs> no. When I said it, it was like that <laughs> yeah. instant ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Somebody gets yeah. the gong. Yeah, yeah. I, I said yeah. it. Yeah. And it's it's one of those moments where it's like, Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, Moose is giving me shit about normal, but I use it as an identifying word because you, you know what I mean. And I don't really talk for other people any damn way, so you take it how you like. <laughs> well, normal is a setting on the dryer. But And I a only, town in I, Illinois. I only do this thing with a partner because I like other people's voices when I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, see, that's how you are. It's ple like you. Oh, please. You read when I speak. You yeah. Crazy. God. You keep up with all the chat and shit when I'm talking about something deep and important. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Wow. And you know what's really <laughs> freaky is there's a part of my mind Works. that's going, Flash is still talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll try doing that to you someday. Let me see. Let me see that. <laughs> so last week I was feeling kind of, I don't know. I get these like comic modes. They uh -huh. they strike, and something that just crosses through my mind that just busts me the fuck up. So there's nobody on the RLM and the time I'm, of day I'm on. So I'll, I'll write a few things, and 
some of the shit I forget, some of it I remember, right? Mm-hmm. And one of, one of, I really like this one. <laughs> so I told him that I found the, the, an original copy of the original movie Brokeback Mountain starring John Wayne and Ronald Reagan from 1939. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it started on me about, you know, wait a minute. And I had to explain it to him. No, it was about two banditos that couldn't escape the posse that chased them up into the mountains. Oh. They were thinking it was about, you know, two compadres that were stuffing the baloney where it didn't belong. <laughs> Ooh. But it was funny as fuck because I got the result that I was expecting, but they didn't appreciate the names I was using to really go somewhere. With. John Wayne, and you know what John Wayne's real name was? Francis something. Marion. Oh, Marion, Marion. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not a real masculine cowboy name, is it? Well, I don't. This is going to strike you as odd, right? Uh-huh. But I never thought of John Wayne as a masculine kind of guy. I thought he kind of swished when he walked, <laughs> and he was really big and clumsy, and you know, people just tolerated it from him. If I walked like that, they'd tell me to go put a dress on and finish the fucking job. <laughs> you know and what see, I mean? And looking back on it now, and looking at Rock Hudson, it's like. Well, yeah, again, how, I can kind of well, again, but how do you, you know, with with the way our history has unfolded and the shit that we found out already, we've proven to be lying. How can you believe any of it? I mean, whatever. If you didn't see it with your own fucking eyes, what what is there to believe that you were told if it's not for amusement only, it's dangerous? I don't know. Mm. Because everything that we we discuss and everything we read and learn, it all forces us to put pick a side. Ah. Yeah, I I wrote about, I wrote about this long back when we were in the World Truth Days. Want mm-hmm. want to go through this one again? I don't think the RLM crew has heard my theory about the two emotions. Is it time to unload on them? Time to unload. <laughs> okay, I read a book that I believe is true about emotions. Uh And in the book, it stated that there are two basic emotions and from those two stem all the rest of them. And those two are love and hate or love and fear, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And fear is a very narrow wavelength that you cannot grow within. It's very narrow and confining. But love is very wide and you can bounce around and gather and stop and start and do all kinds of crazy shit in that that fear will not allow and there you go yeah because fear but I took it in itself is very immobilizing because when you I mean you have that whole fight or flight thing it's you know you've got one direction or the other with fear that's just all there is to it you can either freeze and get run over or you can run like hell those are pretty much the options Right, but that's the part of it that was stolen work. The other end, the end of it was my own contribution is I realized uh, I was walking through Kirkwall one night on my way to go uh, go to see Kelly or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I realized for some reason that was on my mind and I realized you can't be in both at the same time. You have to pick a wavelength. And if you don't know you're picking, one will pick you. And it's usually fear. Because that's what you're exposed to the most. Yes. Because if people, if people even say the word love, we're taught to repel it because it's weak and sissy and fuck that. You're supposed to be a, a fighter and a killer and a genius and a, and you can't be all the things that life pretends that you think you can be. You can only be you and you are as good as the next fucking person. But we've invented all these scales to compare shit. You know, I'm smarter, I'm better looking, I'm taller, I'm shorter, I'm, you know, and the list is endless. You chase your, you spend your whole life chasing after all that shit and never get it because you age. See, and, and I, I don't, I don't think the destination is the, is the, you know, what you need to, I think you, it's the trip. 
Yeah, that's right, baby. You figured it out. We're going to give you the Bullwinkle Award. Yay. That's it. Her, 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 well, her. yeah, but you've known me long enough to know that you know, um, people are, they get what they give in life. Yes. You know, and we've been all taught to respond to the, the most lame things like money. You know, money does not uh, dictate the person you are. The person is still the person. You can be rich and still be a piece of shit. Money oh, yeah. doesn't change no. that. No. Right. But, you know, but we have been taught to idolize and and look up to and, and want to be and all this other shit. And it's like just being a normal guy on the fucking planet isn't enough. You know, there's something wrong with you if you're not satisfied just being alive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be picking the right football teams. I don't want to be digging the right music. I don't want to be dating the right babe, you know, or wearing the right clothes or saying the right things. None of that stuff really matters. You know? yeah. When I sit down... And it's a hard thing for me to keep on the top of my mind, it, my conscious mind, that I really don't give a shit. But there's a lot of traps that distract me from that thought. And I think I care about stuff. And it gets my attention because of my upbringing and the way that I've been trained to think. Yeah. yeah. Well, Most of my response, I think. You know, I think we all get trained a certain way. We're like little trained seals. Balance that ball on the end of our nose for a fish or a little bitty nasty yeah, ass we, sardine. We, but we copy and we repeat what we heard others older than us at one time in life tell us and yeah. show us. So what's wrong with it? No, they'd it, rather put a history book in front of you instead of, t here, talk to somebody that was there. Let them tell you what happened. No, now they've manipulated that where they get a, somebody that was actually wherever this happened, and that person is lying to you for money, telling you a fucking complete story that's not true. See, and that's what I miss about having my grandpa around, because, man, he and mm. I used to talk about some of the neatest, I thought they were the neatest things. Cause, you know, right. The, yes, that's you know, your lesson. He grew up through so many different changes in the mm. world. Mm. Oh, way more than us. Wow. Well, I think our changes were more mental than physical. The yeah. physical world from 1970 to today, it's similar. I mean, it's not so it's not it's not that damn much different. Oh, it's a little faster and there's some things that are made smaller, but out, outside of that, no, they're still using the same fucking second-rate inferior shit to fuel it with. So we're getting fucked in the long run anyway. Oh, and it was, what's his name? Edison's birthday today. Oh. And, uh, I think it was Java. I hope I get the guy's name right. Well, it was early Wana, in the morning. Wana Taco, wasn't it? Wana Didn't he Taco. say something yeah. about when the light bulb was invented or some such? Exactly. Sorry, Wana, I got you guys confused. But yeah, um, it, so he puts it up there and it brought back the Tesla, you know, the, the knowledge that I have is very different from the knowledge that the mainstream people in the world have. But then there's people like that come on the RLM that know the same thing. So it's very refreshing to, to see that there's other people that know what's going on. But there'll never be a none of us, uh, uh, there'll never be enough of us, excuse me, to actually affect any kind of change. We're, we're trapped in this shit. See, and that's and, that's where you and I differ because I really yeah. do think that we can affect change. Mm. We just may Ow. not necessarily, but we Ow. are. It's one of those things where everybody needs to change themselves, and that's where it gets dicey. You know, because um. you may not you may not see the changes that are going on with someone, but well, hmm. I know that that's a lot of judgment stuff. I don't know. Probably yeah. going the wrong way with the conversation in the first place. Well, I just i I don't think this world is going to stay this way. You know, I mean, we had, you know, 
back in the day, you had freaking washing machines that ran for 30, 40 years. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. now the life Long expectancy yeah. is, wow, if it if it lasts eight years, damn, you got yeah. a good machine. And how much money did you spend on that? You know, um, how much of your labor did you have to um, invest in acquiring that piece of machinery? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Well, see, and that's what life is, is your time. And we've been taught to value it in all these other ways that they're they're physical so you can see them. And I think it's just a mental conditioning so that you'll accept things that are bad for you and and settle for second best instead of like uh, myself. Other people led me to, ah, oh, this is how it really works. And I went, you got to be kidding me. Nope. And if you go against it, people will tell you you're all kinds of things. And they were right. <laughs> well, you know, they can tell me I'm all kinds of things, and that's fine. I don't have to wear those badges. I And I used to think I had to because somebody had the opinion of me that I was this or yeah, this or opinion. this or this. And opinion. Yeah. Opinion. Define opinion. Yeah. Well, opinion if is an asshole. you're going to use a word. No, no. no. I know. But, I mean, not you so much, but you know, other people that don't really know what the word they're using actually means. They think they know, but they know a part of it. There's more to it than they're aware of by what they say or what they write. Well, an opinion and, is basically just a judgment that someone passes based yeah, on their current neither, information. Yeah, neither fact nor knowledge. Just the way you feel about shit is an opinion. That's basically broken down into dummy terms because yeah. I'm a dummy. I'm a big old dummy dumb head, and if you don't make it simple, I'll break it. <laughs> Never mind. Wow. She must be reading again. I am. So I am. I saw I somebody was not going to apologize to the social justice warriors, and it's like, why apologize to someone mm. that's perpetually butthurt? All they'll do is demand more. That's yeah. the part. There's that squeaky wheel again. And, you know, people need to stop and understand that squeaky wheels, if they keep squeaking, they're going to eventually get wonky. And then there's going to be all shit break loose because they're going to fall off and and tear things you up. Paid, and You paid attention to it. It worked. Yeah, I know. See, it doesn't interest me. Yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know what a Danish... Uh, what did you call him? Social justice warrior was fucking talking about if they were doing it. So there's a method to my madness, if you know what I mean. Ah. Yeah. yeah. When you know the the one eyed man is a fucking king in the land of the blind. Kidding me? And when it's deaf, so it's an ear. <laughs> Same fucking principle. You know, you get what you give in the um, life that you live is my theory. Your, your, your results are a fucking total. It's a, a representation of your truest of intention brings you what you truly want. And you get it. And whether you recognize it as what you want or not is not my problem. <laughs> well, <laughs> for the most life. part, there are some things that, that happen to people that mm. they don't, like they what? didn't necessarily set out to have that happen to them. Name something as a point of reference. Well, as someone being, okay, sexually assaulted since that's in the news lately. Oh, that crap, yeah. Well, you know, I got a cure for all that fucking nonsense in the first place. People need to okay. learn to respect themselves and, and extend that same respect to others. No, well, well, I had a second child in a, in a second marriage, and I was a little more mature, you know, so, 31 or something anyway so any i i had the chance because i wanted to do it i took care of the kid for three and a half years ah and i wanted to see what all the hoopla was about with having a uh, a baby mm -hmm. do it and i did it and i'll tell you the whole problem with um all this sexual shit is people lose control of their kids where the kid will, li how I mean control is w where the adult's input matters to that kid in any fucking way is taken from that kid by school from the minute you're there. 
they replace your parents with a fucking imaginary goddamn education system that lies to you for 12 years yeah <laughs> and tells and tells you anybody can grow up to be the president as long as they're related to king george they leave that part out <laughs> well you know it's all but, it's even a even a, a lie of omission is still a lie mm-hmm. you know absolutely but you know the people that got lied to are the very people that are going to defend the the liar in the end. It, it's amazing how that works. Yeah. It's like a bar fight. Almost every time that you see a bar fight, the guy that gets attacked by the group is the guy that got punched. They don't see the first one. They see the guy reacting to whatever the other guy did, and they think he started it, and they get involved in shit that's none of their fucking business. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's one of those well, jumping to conclusions. You brought it up on the radio, little Missy. Yeah. I would, if I saw other, my father had a saying for people like you. What's that? He said, you, you want to take his place? And I'm going to tell you, and nobody ever stood up for me except me, because nobody wanted no part of him. <laughs> so... I mean, I understand your sentiment, and maybe now because you got those thugs that you can call with guns to come and kill people, you could get a result. But in my day, if you'd have called the police, they would have hung up on you for a prank call. What are you, somebody slapping their kid? Fuck you. We got crime to solve here. Don't bother us. Well, and, see, and, uh, s- somebody slapping their kid, I mean, I don't necessarily approve of that. Me neither. But it's none of my fucking business. See, and if I were to see someone just <laughs> pummeling the shit out of a child, I would have to step uh, you in. You didn't say, wait, 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 wait. I know, I didn't, I didn't stipulate that. But, you know, There's to me, abusing a child is, I mean, popping a little one on the backside. Mm. Or, mm. or like with my youngest daughter, I slapped her across the face <laughs> once. <laughs> once. Oh, Lord. Yeah, well, we all get pushed beyond our limits by things. That's yeah. just normal behavior. You know, there's some idiot doctor that would swear up and down there's a problem with you and you need therapy and pills no, because, I know. You, because you lost your temper and slapped somebody. And they've taken all these fucking normal behaviors that we all grew up with and grew out of in time and replaced them with other neurotic shit like typing insults or whatever we do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not excluding myself. I'm just saying instead of slapping people with my fist, with with my hand, now I just write some words on a computer screen. But it's the same fucking job. It's just done differently. And it's funny how both can be just as stinging. Insane, isn't it? Yeah. We have been convinced if you see it written, there's a more of a truth to it than if you see it or hear it. And that's something with the wiring in the brain, you know, because right. a lot of it's, times if like, you're trying to work out problems or something and you're just plain thinking to yourself, trying to work it out, mm-hmm. you just can't get it. <laughs> but when you write it down and then you look at it, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. OK, there, that's that's it. Yeah. You know, it makes it more real, which is mm-hmm. what you're saying. It makes it more real. When you can actually visualize and see the words and yeah. Mm. Well, you know, like the guys, they like to talk about um, Bitcoin and gold prices and silver prices on the Internet. Right. Mm-hmm. And I've got this question for the Bitcoin Bitcoin crowd that I can never get a, a really c- clear answer on because they kind of change. In my opinion, they change the subject about the answer. And the question is this current. This is the bit stamp. Current 6127.65. High 6180.00. But it's got a dollar sign in front of it. Okay. Now, using that dollar sign to me, in it, it gives me the idea that that's a dollar. And to me, a dollar is worth about four cents. <laughs> so I've lost 96% of my investment because i know what a dollar sign represents see and i look at that and i wonder (laughs) is bitcoin prices really rising or is the value of the dollar really 
plummeting? Mm. Well, it's too big for me to understand in the first place. I'm a very simple guy. I want to go to the store and, and buy my TV in one place and get my food in another, just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't want to go to a fucking Walmart where everything's all crowded in one store, you know? Yeah. But I'm just as much of a sheep in a lot of ways as the other sheep. Just the, the way that I do it is different. There's a lot less control for me. And there's been, you know, now I'm old. Now I'm, I'm so far gone beyond the age thing that they don't give a fuck about me anymore. I don't even raise an eyebrow. Yeah. I, right. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Because to live in a society this small, you have to behave yourself as the others behave. And if they were rip roaring, partying, glass breaking drunks, uh, I would either join that or I would have moved by now. You yeah. Know? So, well, instead, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not sticking out like yeah. a sore thumb. You know, you basically got to blend into the scenery. Yeah, it's 2017. The kids are freakier looking than I am, or equally freaky looking. Let's say that, you know? Because oh. sometimes when I when I see the kid and there's three kids walking and the middle one's got pink hair and she'll smile at me because I got long hair and a gray beard. And uh-huh. I just smile back because they're, they're kids. They're having fun with uh, color. Mm-hmm. Big deal, you know. And sometimes it's just amusing because I was raised in a different time. Yeah, well, and, I don't remember if ha- I said anything last night on the radio or not. But, yeah, I have fun with color with my hair. And it's basically, <laughs> I, and, you know, yeah. I really got to thinking about it for a while there. And yeah. I thought. You know, so I I did get told by someone, you know, you really ought to go back to coloring your hair. Really? Yeah, because they said you wouldn't look as old if you went back to coloring oh, your hair. Oh, that's that's cruelty to that's cruelty to animals. Well, oh, you, you know, know what? I when gotta, they I said gotta, that, though, I just went, okay. <laughs> I got a great interruption topic for you. Okay. And. This will won't piss off too many people, but I'm I want to make a point about rights. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Right, you ready? Are you mm-hmm. sitting down? Yeah, have I am. Got- I even have a cat on my lap. Should I remove Here, the cat I'll, in case I I'll jump hit, up? I'll hit you sip your your coffee before I start this one. Okay. But anyway. Ready. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Because I hit my tooth with my coffee cup. I'm ready. Oh, man. <laughs> Every damn time. Just can't take her anywhere. I know you can't. This is why we can't have nice things. Can't, can't wait to have you back in the winter jammies. Those are, you, are always fun. Yeah. You know what? My, my favorite is the Eeyore suit, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a sentiment. See, now I'm an old man. I'm sentimental about all kinds of sissy shit. <laughs> But, you know, it doesn't bother me. It's not, I thought yeah, when I got older, I'd still be like I used to be in it. And I got older and went, hey, that's not so bad after all. <laughs> and, and I'm a little different. You know? Yeah. Like be, being married, for example, is like, no, we're not going to ever do that. Went to, I did it. And, no, we're never going to do that. To, I did it. To, no, I'm never going to do that. To, I did it finally did it right <laughs> hey first first two shots weren't very good didn't work out so hot yeah well you know you had to have your practice runs well no see that explains a lot though because um uh, if if i do something well now after i've aged and mellowed that means i was doing a really fucking lousy job of it when i was young that's why it didn't work because I wouldn't do what society demanded of me. Therefore, my game was over. Ah. And now I'm in a society that doesn't demand anything of me. So everybody's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a happy little camper, little Miss Mayor. I'm telling you, you got to come over here and see Denmark. It's just fantabulous. You know, I was talking to Lisa B. about that the other day when I was up getting my hair done again. (laughs) And I said, when I go over to Denmark, you're going to have to go with. And she said, oh, my God, I would love to go. So you may have lots of company come visit. (laughs) 
We entertain her fan. Oh, Cirque's birthday's in a few weeks, and I'm going to take the dork day off for the 11th. Because we're going to have a party for her here. Sweet. So we're going to yeah, it's going to be wall to wall family and no radio for me. I'm going to, I'm going to entertain the young wife. She's uh, she's going to be a grown up this year too. Ha ha ha. Oh wow, you know that'll work out great because actually that's I wanted to go and see my youngest that weekend. So hey, that'll work out great. The eleventh of. November. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Well, okay, out there in Dorkland, if you're listening, you loyal radio people, guys with lots of balls. Yeah, (laughs) eleven, eleven. There will be no dorks. Can you imagine what kind of balls you have to have to listen to the crap that me and you talk about in the first place? (laughs) No, we we talk. Okay. I mean, come on. This is no lightweight shit show for people that you know want to be uh hearing about sports and you know what's going on in fashion and shit like that this is a hardball here you get somebody that had to tell you fuck you <laughs> yeah yeah and i've heard you say it i wasn't only bragging for me i mean you're you're a stand-up kind of gal there little miss mary let me tell you yeah the problem is i'm short and so when i stand up most people don't realize i'm standing up <laughs> Which is yes, why I have but. to do the wild hair and all that other crazy stuff and, and start throwing <laughs> F-bombs just to get people to go, Hey, 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 hey. They, oh, well. Mm. Well, see, that's what I mean by different upbringing and different experiences and such, different training. Different, your influences that made you the person you are are not visible. I mean, it's not like you can look at certain people and go, oh, well, I learned this from that person and I learned this from that. But you can do it with verbal shit, but not with like things that molded you as a human. And they happened way before your consciousness could remember it. <laughs> yeah. You learn everything that you'll ever need to know in a society as, as ours is probably about two years. By the time you're two, you're done. You're just not tall and, and experienced, to, but you know shit. And if you nurture that kid, you'll make a fucking brainiac out of every one of them. It's yep. all it takes. All it takes to make a smart child a smart child in society's eyes is to have been a parent that took the time to, to bring that side out of the kid. Whatever side you bring is the one you're going to get. Wow, and I'll tell you what, that brings a whole new meaning to that book, Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Well, to you maybe, but that's because you have that particular understanding of the crap I just spewed. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you just said that you can yeah. learn pretty yeah. much all of it within, and children are very, very fast sponges. But that's what I mean. You, everybody, every one of us was that was nurtured properly in the intellect part of the relationship became smart because the parent brought that part of of the kid out. It's work. It's not like, oh, no, people like my father spent uh, a lot of time teaching me things like the times tables and how to read when I was two. (laughs) Mm hmm. So by the time I was four, I could actually do it by myself just from, you know, his repetition of take me to the grocery store and killing time by showing me all the different products and telling me which car was which on the road until I could tell point at a car and I could tell him which, what model and what year it was. <laughs> you know, and I did that with both of my girls. I mean, we would a lot of times we would either driving down to whichever grandma's house it was. And, okay. you know, I would point out the window and it was like playing I spy, but not, you know, I'd point out and I'd go, there is a cow. Cows are herbivores. Yeah. And my yeah. ex used to get so pissed at me. And I said, what is wrong with talking to them like they understand? Because you'd be surprised what they understand, you know, and, and I would no, point out I the different. I, well, I you wouldn't myself. be, but he would have been, no. but. Yeah. But you know, if you yeah. just talk to kids and give them the respect to let them know that hey, I truly believe that you will understand this, they will. 
Yeah, and if you don't baby them too much, I mean, you know, there's a part of me even that's kind of soft and squishy. But, you know, with Erica, I was fairly um, soft and squishy because, you know, she's the girl with, with two older sisters and one brother. So it was kind of easy. Well, you know, you can be soft and squishy and yet still teach your child an awful lot. Well, right. Well, she grew up a happy kid, so she was easy to to teach it to. And mm-hmm. the youngest of all the others. So her ambition level was stressed more because to keep up with them, she had to work a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, competition is a um, – it's a – both good and bad thing. I don't know. I hate the duality shit, but it's got a positive and it's got a negative result. Either way you play it, you know, competition, it's a tool. It's, it's not meant to keep score and judge, but that's what we turned it into. Yeah. You know, if, if, if a, a true team actually did something, why would people sp- spend Monday night watching them not do it on, on a football field instead of watching a team of people that actually accomplish something because it is in our training to understand this football thing is exciting and important, but watching some people build a, a, a shed would be boring and only a few people would be interested in that. Mm-hmm. But average Joe doesn't really get that. You know? No. And they hook you at your competition bone. And I have one. I know what it's about. I'm not, you know, being better than the competition people. Just I choose to stay as far from it as I can. But still, like with this, you know, with the screen, I like to type some shit to somebody and be a know it all and play trivia and shit like that. Yeah. And what, but what's it based on? Yeah. Competition. We all do it somehow, but working in a team to accomplish something, that's not real. That's for the professionals. They get paid millions to do that. So you'll stay watching them waste your time, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And though, though it's entertaining and, you know, I understand I've done it myself. I've been there, but I realize now, wow, could have been doing a lot of other shit that was more productive, but it didn't matter because I was drinking and and other crap at the time anyway so they had a they had a dead audience i wasn't buying their products on the commercials <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> see and i just i like to look at the commercials and laugh and there's still that one um louisiana hot sauce Hoo-wee! that stuff is louisiana hot sauce yeah that and was you're pretty damn yeah you're pretty damn close you could spit out your door and probably hit louisiana well, especially today, the wind's out of the north. So, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> some guy, some guy in Shreveport will go, Mary, stop that. <laughs> Probably. Oh wow. Oh God, hey. no! I don't want to do that because then they would do da- DNA testing, as if they don't already yeah. know. But you know what do the you, hell? Come on, do you really believe all this shit? DNA testing, hair testing, fingerprints. Fuck you and your hair testing, DNA, fingerprinting ass. It's a performance. These people don't know nothing more than you know. They're just guessing. <laughs> they won't admit it because they're going to, you know what they're going to do? They're going to, they got science that proves these things to be true. What they don't tell you is they got science that proves these things not to be true as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you you can't you can't yeah. tell me that they don't affect the outcome. Well, it doesn't matter. That's what's what I mean is they go with the one that provides them the result they choose. Yes. Okay. So convincing you a test is real, whether they do that or not, they do it by force. If not, that that's co- what do you call that coercion? Yeah. That's not extorting you, but that's tricking you. You're you're made to believe a false positive. With no real fact. They're just telling you they got facts. And you go, okay. Because there's no way to prove they don't have facts. True. But they never show you anything that is ever proven to be a fact. All they do is they repeat the same shit the same fucking way 
over and over and then get the rest of us to do it. <laughs> so at, at the point I'm at now, it's like I, I just go gravity, whether it's there or not. What the fuck good is the knowledge? It puts me in a group. It's the only purpose it serves. Fear or love, period. Nothing else exists in the emotion levels. Everything else is a branch off of those two. So which one are you in when you're believing all this crap that these idiots tell you? Mm, you know, and I'm still stuck on that whole gravity thing that I just, I, that's, <laughs> I, that's a word for when you trip, you fall down, you know, as opposed to falling up or yeah, it's, it's I a guess. word for as you age, the girls, <laughs> <laughs> the nipples hit the navel. <laughs> that's why they wrote that song. Something about the Navy in the Navy. Yeah, that's where your nipples go when you're 80. No, uh -huh. in the navel. Close enough. I missed it by one letter. No, two. Oh. Oh. In the navel. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, hmm. hey. You know what? You were talking about science and everything. And I know this is going to be a real shocker to you. But I was checking out over on Minds, and I'm just kind of gradually scrolling as you're talking. And here's a mm. meme that says, scientific facts are social constructs. <laughs> Isn't that just funny? <laughs> I like that. Well, <laughs> society is, a, is an illusion that you have in your head. It's mm -hmm. not real. okay? And it can't be real because you're only in one place at one given time. So as you move... Where did it all go? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's how I look at it, but other people go, wow, that's a wacky way to see it. Okay, well, that's my wacky way to see it. I got 58 years of experience, and I can remember about three hours of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, Mary. I know. Three and hours I'm, I'm, yeah, I know. You you're got reading. a whole... I know, you're reading. Well, I was trying to figure out how in the hell I can find this, and find what? Well, I wanted what are to. You looking for? I was I was trying to I was listening to you and trying to click on this so that I could share it over here in the RLM chat. Oh, she wants to put things in the RLM chat. Yes, and Fluky left. Look. Fluky left and can't tell yeah. everybody what it is. Well, look, this way they, they don't have to listen to me. They can open up a link and listen to that. Instead. Yeah, Fluky must have had to go pee. Lucky people, you. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I can't open a link. I got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> My gift to you. <laughs> Why, thank you. I feel so special. Hey, you know you what? Did. I still have a link up from last night that I didn't get really? to. About... Oh, uh, no. Links links on the dork table. There's a No, first. this is a 10 life-changing questions to ask yourself today. You want to do uh, these? Do I got to answer them or can I make up funny shit? You can make up funny shit. I don't care. Oh. Because that's probably what I would do. Number okay, one is let, how let's... will your life be different in a year? Um, I'll be a year older. <laughs> There'll be one more gray hair in your beard. There you go. Oh, a lot more than one. Yeah. Oh, well, see, I was just shooting for one because I'm an underachiever in, in those aspects. Mm, okay. So, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, year old. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Number two, what are you grateful for? Ooh, silence. Are you there? I, I muted it. <laughs> I was on mute. <laughs> I, I was playing with my box. Okay. Uh, first thing I said was me. Oh, okay. I, I am so grateful. Well, let's let's be br 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 brutally honest here, Miss Mary. Br br brutally honest. Okay. Without a good me, there is a no. There is no good anything else. Ah, see, there you go. I'm me. So I don't know how any other way to put it, you know. Well, if you weren't you, I, you wouldn't you wouldn't right. be grateful for anything else, right? I, 
probably wouldn't wouldn't even be here. So the thing I'm grateful for is me. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just freaking wonderful. Mm. <laughs> Rainbows and butterflies and unicorn farts. Okay. Yeah, but uh, when it's true, nobody believes you. Yeah, uh, well, that's they true. Think you're, they think you're full of shit because, no, nah, everybody's life sucks. My life don't. Mm, mine don't but, either. Okay. There you go. Yep. Number three, what nice thing can you do for someone else today? Stay out of their way. <laughs> well, there was a, a guy moving his stuff in a U-Haul truck trying to get out on the main road today. Uh-huh. So not walking in front of him made it really easy for him to, to drive off. See? See how considerate Staying you of- are just by not yeah. doing any the inaction is sometimes the smartest action to take. Right. And the weather's bad and he's trying to get a you know, a car and a trailer onto a road and blah, blah, blah. And I'm walking. So I just figured I'd wait, let him go instead Yay. of him waiting for me. You know, he's got the trailer to pull and all that work. So, ah, see how you are. Okay. Number four. Yeah. What? Number four. How much do you worry about what others think? Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Three million two hundred nine thousand eight. Percent. How about none? Oh, wow. Worry, nah, worry about wh- when other people engage me, I'm either nice or I'm a prick. And if I'm a prick in my mind, somehow I'm giving them what they've given me. And I'm not going to change my mind and bargain. You just leave me alone. You want to engage, we'll engage. It won't be fun. There you go. Ah. ah. The end. Oh, I have spoken again. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so what are you doing to invest in your relationships? Why is everything always phrased in a monetary fashion? You're investing, you're spending time, you're... Keeps the illusion alive. Ah. That's what... Yeah, that way the dollar never crashes. No matter what it really does, you'll never know. Well, yeah, because people just keep doing what they're doing. Well, it's all insane. We've been living in this debt for a hundred and fucking five years, and all of a sudden they're going to change it. What are you crazy? Yeah. No, nah. They'll just tell another story. People will go on, and nothing will change. They'll just move the jobs to a cheaper place to have it done cheaper and better. And well, not even better, just cheaper. Yeah. And we'll tolerate it, and that's life because. You're not allowed as a group to do any fucking thing. If you protest against them, they'll just shoot you now. Well, yeah. And if you want to get any money that was donated by people that are caring and wishing to help out, well, you have to swear allegiance to. Or at least say you won't boycott. But what they the hell is the that money? shit? It's, it's all insane. Well, see, that's that point zero zero two one four six percent of the population I belong to. Ah, they claimed my uh, they claimed me at a very early age and they were fucking serious because they whacked me (laughs) in the pecker. (laughs) I mean, it wasn't none of this sign here shit. No, these fuckers went for the crotch. (laughs) It's not like you just go, well, I don't want to be in your group. Well, you're in it whether you want to be or not. And just to show you how wonderful of a group it is, we're going to lop the end of your penis off. Ah! <laughs> wow. Mm, that doesn't pretty sound much. Fun. Yeah, pretty but, much. But, I mean, but there you go with with society and all this bullshit we live in. Nobody asked me what I fucking wanted. They just did shit to me. And then one day I was, like, old enough to tell them to fuck off. And I told them, fuck off. Oh, Had enough of your shit. Yeah, well, I was kind of young to do it, but, you know, after a after a short period of time, they learned I wasn't joking. Nobody wanted to murder me to yeah. stop me, you know? It wasn't that bad. No, but, but I'll bet you wandered around with a certain part of your anatomy protected most of the time just to make sure they didn't come back for more. No, I, I grew up, uh, I got to an age where me and Dad just stopped stopped having those loving moments he gave up Mm. so Mm. you never answer number five what are you doing to invest in your relationships 
I'm just letting it be whatever it is. Okay. Because that's all based on expectation, and I I don't know. That's a Cirque let it wake, be wakes, kind of thing. Yeah. Cirque wakes up every day and, and lets me live, so I'm cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. No steak knives in the back yet, let me tell you. <laughs> Sweet. So, number six, what do you do for fun? Everything that I do, I do for fun. Sweet. Because if it's not fun, why are you doing it? Well, you know, people have the nerve to call me a narcissist when it's so clear and obvious I am a hedonist. Oh. I'm not narcissistic. I'm a hedonist. I'm I'm alive. The only fucking thing that gets my attention is something I like. And, and some of the sickest shit in the world is stuff I like. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Like arguing with arguing with idiots just for, you know, all the intellect I'd like to claim to have. My best fucking five minutes of the day is arguing with some dumbass that thinks he knows everything. Because there's one thing I know at 58 years old is everything that I've ever been taught by somebody else turned out to be bullshit. So I didn't know fuck all. <laughs> the only things I know are the things I know, and I cannot share them with other people. They're mine. <laughs> ah, mine, mine, mine. Ex- okay, you turn it into a bad thing, but there's no, an inner no. You. It's not nece- It's not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you know that whole. It's mine, mine, mine. You can't have it. It's mine. Which it, you know it's you not can possible. share. I know no, you, you can share no. your opinions, you can share your beliefs, uh, but other people yeah. don't have to accept them. They are yours, yours, yours. But, be, but beyond all that, there's a you that other people will never see. True. And it does and it does things in fleeting moments during your day, things that you normally wouldn't do. But you'll have a flash of thinking of doing something outrageous, whatever your outrageous is, and but it's just a momentary thought. Some people carry them out to um, physical. Actually, at- yeah, actually try to make them reality, fruition. whatever reality yeah, they, is. They make them real, right? While the rest of us, we just have a momentary thought and it goes away. Uh, some people's minds they fixate on that shit. Yeah. 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 They grew up to be Bushes and Kennedys. I'm telling you, it's horrible, Mary. Uh, it sounds like it. Are you ready for number seven? I hope so. Are you comfortable in your own skin? Now, before you answer that, I've got to let you know that apparently somebody commented on this from Tiny <laughs> Buddha, and her name is Melissa Dinwiddle. And I just, that name Dinwiddle, it's like, wow, <laughs> that would be a fun last name. <laughs> I know, like that That pastry shit you get in the mornings from the whim- whimmy diddle yeah <laughs> <laughs> told you don't say that word on the radio anymore <laughs> sissy words at the dork table we have to have a whole show about that one well see i can't sissy you don't want word. me to say whimmy diddle but uh, i don't oh. have to because here this gal yeah. has din witty for a name see, it's life, like life is fair and yeah i wouldn't want to be anybody but me who else could i want to be besides me so I'm comfortable as shit. There you go. Yeah. Easy questions. I mean, they're kind of obvious. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know what's really sad is there's an awful lot of people that have to sit and think about a lot. Of course, there's a couple of them I would ponder just trying to decide, okay, do I want to be this today or do I want to be that today? But oh, thank right. you. right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, well, I don't have to do that. I just do what I want all the time. Yeah, but sometimes I have multiple options running around in my head. That's all those different voices. Number eight, is anxiety something that dampens most of your days? See, these are the kind of people that have to have these questions. Uh, No. No. I don't have anxiety. I don't even know. No, it's not my friend. Mm. I tell people, what's your fucking hurry? Where the hell you think you're going that, you know, five seconds or five hours or five months is going to really change? Yeah. 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 Just unlike my peers on the RL and M who have, uh, I don't know. I just go with my whims. Whims. 
Um, yeah. Me diddle. If my, if, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucker. And if, if my whimmy diddle turns out to be a reality diddle, then I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you don't take a chance in life, how the fuck do you know, you know, what could have happened if you did that? True. And see, well, that that well. leads right into the next question, because the next question what? is, what have been your biggest mistakes? Nothing. I did exactly what I did the way I did it. So how could it be a mistake? See, and that was, I used to look back on things and go, man, that was the dumbest move. And I, note said, Mm -hmm. used to. Now I look back on things and I go, okay, every one of those dumbass moves that I did, those were all part of this path that got me where I'm at. And I like where I'm at. See, there you go. And it's all connected to the, to your beginning somehow. Mm -hmm. But it's an illusion, but it's your reality. It's not my reality. I didn't live it. You lived it. Yeah. It's, just, it's like we're we're not really taught to separate from each other in ways that are really good for you to step the fuck out and look at the other guy and see him from something beside your own point of view. And you can't keep these ideas on top all the time. You got to dig for them and think about them. They're deep things. You know, because when when you when you're out in public. Your mind is on autopilot and you're doing something and most of that time is spent just getting through it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not do you're not doing any deep thinking through that. Your your mind is behind everything. Yeah. But on a conscious level, that's what I think that 10 percent of our brain crap story is about is 10 percent of what our brain does is conscious and the other 90 is subconscious. Yeah. But I don't think they explain it that way. But that's the way I see. It's like what I mean about science. I think they tell us things to guide us to where they want us to be. Yeah. And I take an idea and I go where I want to go with it. What's the fucking difference? What's the worst thing that's going to happen if I believe 10% of my brain is, is functioning on, a, on one level and 90 on another? Than the opposition who think 90 of it's just dormant. You don't even use it. Well, see, and I I wonder if maybe that wasn't put forth just to get people to think that they were not really all that smart. Look at how lacking Mm -hmm. you are Mm -hmm. because you're only using 10% of your brain. Mm -hmm. You should use more of it, but you don't know how. You know, that, Mm -hmm. that... that bullshit right well right now they're using computers as a way to uh, compare it look at how we're so smart and capable look at how far we've gotten with machines instead of uh, what could be done to benefit us all they do what benefits a, a handful and the rest of us either willingly or unwillingly however you feel about yourself is your business go along with it mm-hmm. i feel i feel society is it has taken me hostage i'm a willing participant but if there was an opt out where i didn't have to be part of it i could just you know observe it and use it i take it there you go but it should be a a choice Mm-hmm. You know, you got to wear a left arm bend. There'd be a rule or some fucking technicality that goes against my grain. But, you know, to be free, you got to give up shit. So there's no freedom. So just accept you're in a prison. Just make your uh, make your prison comfortable. That's where I got to. You know? Well, okay. You ready for the last one? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I and got a- all buzzed. Appropriately so. It is the last yeah. one. Yay. What the will people one. say about you at your funeral? Goodbye. <laughs> no, about you, not to you. Oh, about me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It depends on the person. If, if Well, I guess it would only be people that knew me. Um, fuck. It's about me. Uh, I probably went went with a bang. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what people would say. I would hope they would be nice, but I know a lot of funny people that would 
be sarcastic and and rude in my honor and i would appreciate it but other people wouldn't yeah you know i don't believe this is it Whatever I'm doing right now and, and then de death and all that, whatever whatever people have been taught, I believe I'm energy-based. So the energy will go somewhere to do something. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't care what. I'm not projecting what. Just saying that's the decision that I've made that I believe. See, energy and I want to hang just, around in that, in that you know, and, and watch just because I'm nosy like that. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm only capable of one consciousness, consciousness at a time, Mary. You know what I mean? Yeah. I only know how, how to be me. I don't know how to be me and something else at the same time. Yeah, but <clears> when <throat> when the meat suit expires and you know they're That's having I mean. the I big whaling thing, I've, right, I I would like to I would like to be able to I like to think okay. that I would sit back in a metaphysical. Uh, lawn chair uh -huh. with some metaphysical popcorn and maybe even a metaphysical beer and and just because you know there is beer in heaven because apostrophe say so they're beer volcanoes but in any uh, case volcanoes. Arr. Anyway. anyway i want to hey, sit back and, and see what people say just so i can go yeah i always thought you were a douche you know <laughs> well i wouldn't wow. i probably wouldn't say that but or even think well, that. you know and see, that's part of the trap. All this positive and negative and judging and I don't like what you said and I don't like the way you look at this and I don't like the way you live and all that shit is exactly that. Oh, a bunch of shit. Yes, it, it is. Means, it means fucking nut. But we as people have been trained to take it seriously to levels that just are ridiculous because the only person I know that that's doing anything is me and then i watch other people do what they do so there's only me <laughs> well it's like you're sitting at a movie theater you know like a twilight zone yeah. episode and you're sitting in the movie theater and oh. you're you're watching all of this <laughs> thanks grim you know and you're sitting yeah. back yep you, know. you got it baby i don't disagree hey wait a minute we're supposed to do wait we screwed that section up Jeez. Aw, oh, man. I know. Uh, we're supposed to be at, at each other's throat on every topic. Damn it. I hate when that happens. Because in the real world, the good guys got to win in the end. And now we're back to Brokeback Mountain. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Winner. I could think of other... I could think of other actors to put in that film. That would be funny as hell, though. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger and what's that idiot's name? John Claude Van Damme. I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good old John Claude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put the two of those in that movie instead of the two that they had. You know, like Jack Nicholson as Rain Man. <laughs> oh, that would, oh, wow. That would have been an interesting Rain Man, wouldn't it? Mm. I don't know. We mm. all, see what I mean? We've been given all these ideas about things, other people's information, and it's used as standards for our own personal, how we see the world. Yeah. And, and it gives you the illusion that we're somehow connected and collected because we agree with somebody. And it, it's really against the odds to, to ever agree with anybody about anything. <laughs> when you really sit down and think about it, wow, I don't agree with anything. So, you know, I'm kind of screwed in that. Well, except for with Cirque. Cirque agrees with me. Oh, wait a minute. I got an, uh, picked up another fan. Oh uh, yeah, my brother, and oh. his and well, I guess him and Lynn are a couple now. So you know, gonna, I guess they're gonna eventually do stuff. They're companions. There you go. Those things. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So there you have it. Yeah. Well, there's people that know, and there's people that read, and it, it's a very interesting. 
important way to see this electronic world and what it really does as opposed to what we're told it does. Yeah, because social networks are really, you know, when you take looking at the electronic world, social networks, for the most part, are very antisocial. Divide and conquer. Argue mm -hmm. and disagree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you do yeah. agree with somebody, you're going to pull the other side out. Like me and Rob works. Me and Rob works. No, there's two worlds. There's the world you live in and there's the world you want to live in. There you go. Okay, the world you live in, the world you want to live in, what about the world that other people want you to live in? That's the same point. There's the one that you live in that is operated and owned by these other idiots that you want nothing to fucking do with. And then there's the world that you want to live in where they are not there. But unfortunately, that world is unattainable in a social way because societies are all garbage. Yeah. They're, and, and how I mean garbage is they're operated to do the very shit they do and make you some kind of victim of crime. And they create all the problems you have are all government created, every fucking one of them. Yeah. Yep. If you don't get along with your old lady, government's fault. Okay. Now, there I'm, there I'm, there I'm lost. Well, your politics... If you got that in a relationship, me and Cirque do not have politics in our relationship. But imagine, if you will, a Dane living with a Republican uh, from the States. That might not, you know, that might clash just a tad. But fortunately, I'm more of an anarchist thinking than a, you know, on the politics. I think more towards anarchy than organized bullshit. Yeah. How do you but get the, anarchists the, together to vote? It's like herding cats. You're just playing don't. For. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the whole point. There's nothing to vote for. It's the core of it is you leave me alone, I leave you alone. I live it in my daily life. When I go out amongst my fucking peers in the world, that's how we live together. We don't communicate, all of us. I don't speak Danish. They, they know that. See, and that's what I was saying, is how do you get anarchists together to vote? It's like herding cats. You don't. Yeah. yeah. You, but you don't. No. There is no group to be in. It's just a, men, it's a mental state of being. It's a, hey, Cirque, it's just a matter of uh, I respect you and you respect me, and there's no back or give or take. It's just a mutual knowledge that you got towards another person. Yeah. Well, when you don't speak the same language, it's easier to physically do it. True. You find yourself more uh, more concerned about how other people uh, feel about what you do. You'd be more self-conscious because they, you won't know what they're saying if they talk. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you're more you're more mindful will... of your behavior. Right, and your training will take you to whichever side of that you go to. And for one guy, it'll be to be a, an obnoxious dick, and for another guy, it'll be to try to get along with people and get through it without causing any problem. And the second guy is the anarchist. The first guy is the voter. He wants it his way. I don't give a fuck whose way it is. I just want their way to not infringe on me. And they don't see that. They see it's some kind of, if you resist, then you're a problem. Instead of, if you resist, well, then just get the fuck out and don't play. They don't do it like that. Uh, hmm. anytime, you, anytime you attempt to communicate with society, they dominate you and fuck you financially. So the best way to deal with a society is to just, Go to the grocery store and buy your shit and do whatever you got to do and just do it and get it done and comply. There you go. Well, I, and see, the way I see the best way to deal with society is to deal with it as little as you possibly can. Exactly. Right. And But as as some places they grow, they get a little population. Yeah. And, it and population will breed the problems and it will do that anywhere you go. 
the smaller the population, the lower the crime rate. Whatever your crime rate is, there's going to be a little crime if you're over a certain number of people, period. That's just the way it works. Yeah. So they know that. So as though they're, but they're as cut off from this, from the police as they are, they've got access to them. I mean, they're not stone age people here. Yeah. I've no, Chloe, Hannah you were hearing Hannah because uh, my doggies are outside. Oh. Yeah, no, Hannah was, Cert came, um, came down. She was upstairs doing something. Came down with the dog and the dog likes to bark like a freaking lunatic. She's just saying hey to you. Hey, she, hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. Well, I, I think she's a, a protector dog. You know? She probably is. Very, very territorial, and she hears other animals out there, and she's going to go chase them off. Birds, she's crazy. She chases the birds away. <laughs> you know, they go up in the trees, and she's still out there barking at them. She thinks they're going to go away. Well, you know why she chases the birds away? My brothers, good Lord, we didn't have birds in our neighborhood because Mom always said a little birdie told her, and my brothers got out there with BB guns. They took that Ouch. shit serious. Yeah. No, I don't know. We were raised with all... I wasn't so much for that, the gun thing. I'm too crazy with shit like that, so I chose not to play with them. Well, my brothers like their BB guns. Well, yeah, I mean... I, I can't say I didn't have one. I'm just saying that I grew I grew into a, a mentality of I needed to be separated from weapons. I'm not one of the people in the world that's <clears throat> comfortable around them because I get curious. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, you know what? An accident. Well, I could accidentally shoot through a window or. You know, accidents happen. Ricochets happen. And I'm the crazy idiot that'll go out in the backyard with a BB gun and see what will happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. yeah, my brothers used to do that, go. too. Well, and it's from the experience of shooting out my neighbor's window. <laughs> well, yeah. it wasn't me that did it, but it was from our house, and it was our BB gun that did it. So, you know. It was an accident. It wasn't like trying to do it. So th that taught me at a kind of a earlier age, I suppose, to, to fall into this direction. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it took, yeah, giving up violence took years off my life. It took me a long time to get there. But once I got there and realized, oh, wow, boy, stupid people fight. I'll tell you that. If you got any fucking smarts about you, keep your fucking hands to yourself. It's a loser. Pointless. Yeah. yeah. I mm, and then, I try and, not and to then, get into... I mean, I'll get into a verbal tete-a-tete -tete with someone, but... Yeah, uh, me too. Me too. But hands on somebody else? No. But we're taught that it's, that it's normal somehow to do that. Instead of being taught... Now they they got this new shit in schools. I I think I read about zero tolerance on touching little kids. Yeah. Ah, wow. how fucked up of a society is that? They got little five year olds that are are forbidden to touch each other, and they and then they teach them what a a fag is at the same age. What the fuck kind of control crap is that? Well, and what, the, I, what was it that it was a few years back? A little five year old got um. Got suspended for a couple of days because he hugged a classmate and yeah. they said it was yeah. sexual harassment. And it's like, excuse yeah. me? Yeah. Wow, Zero I would tolerance. not have made it through the first day of kindergarten. How did it get this bad in the first place that idiots and the idiots that write this crap got it written down? These so, people should have been laughed out of the fucking room from the beginning, but they're, they they're should have been. Now. But they it, that started a long, long time ago, and that I know it started a long time ago. You know, our grandparents and parents, and well, now the us. People that, the people that praise the good side of society say that the reason things are the way they are is well, you didn't stop it. Well, there's not enough reasonable people in the world at all to have stopped it. They, they they get people through trickery and deceit. That they you you comply with this thing in ways where you don't even realize that's what you're doing because there's no opt out. There's no other way. 
Well, there's there is no allowance of critical thinking going on. That's the no. Hell no. You get a driver's license and you get a job and you go to school. You do these things and any other things than this is not going to happen. And then you get and then you get a whole fucking country full of idiots praising some putts like Bill Gates for having a successful computer company. Fuck you. There is no Bill Gates. Well, Bill Gates, is a, it, Bill Gates is Superman. It's a fucking story. Oh, but he's a... He. No, he. Are you kidding? He didn't do fucking anything. This is group effort, fucking work. This is the result of groups and groups of people working hand oh, in no, hand. Oh, no, I know years. that. But, you know, listening to and some for... of his talks, and I have listened to some of his talks, and it's like, <laughs> Yeah, but wow. he's, a front man. he's a front man for a band, dear. He's not real. There's no Bill Gates. You know, I really don't give a shit if he's a front man or not. If you're going to go out there and actually spew that shit, yeah, knowing well, that there that are people that are going to listen to you. I'd do it for that that kind of money. I'd trade sides and be a prick, I think. Mm. I don't know. How many billions of dollars does the prick have? If somebody knocked on my door and said, here, here you go. Here's so many billions of dollars. Kill everybody. Okay. <laughs> I think I'd do it. Let's go do some polio vaccines. Let's make it be long and lingering and painful. And it's, what, it's what's happening. So, I mean, but... To pretend that it's not is more insane than talking about what is happening. Mm, I just I don't like I don't like Bill Gates. I don't believe there is a Bill Gates. I think it's a group of people and they've got the public convinced it's one guy. It's not one guy. One they guy couldn't do all that. No fucking way. They're trying to convince you that there's billions and trillions of dollars. Yeah, you try handling a hundred thousand dollars and see what happens to you. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> mm. See what I mean? All right, a exactly. And, and so what they've done to us, they they put these this four hundred billionaire richest guys in the fucking world bullshit. They accumulate all this wealth and look at them and dig them. They're cool. Well, seven billion people are arguing about hemp and oil <laughs> yeah are you fucking kidding me we're, we're i mean we've just been fucked our whole life and when you tell people how they've been fucked they bring up the good side of it <laughs> yeah and no if i believe the three steps of my plan to unfuck the world were taken you'd have instant results and in six fucking months physical proof that it was worth it <laughs> yeah but yeah it's a, it's a slow rot walk barry yeah, yeah it is chloe said is it, like does that mean reason. he's worth 90 billion chloe i don't know i mean it's all on paper and twompy oh trumple still skin is trumple still skin is a show dog or <sighs> right and like good little slaves here we are to support this fucking illusion. I don't give a fuck who Trump is or what he's worth or nothing. He's a funny guy to look at on the internet. That hairdo is a wow. It's a scream. Wow. He he I, but he lost his oompa loompa coloring and so I'm somewhat sad about that. Oh. Ooh, well we'll have to write him an email. Oh I know. I mean, he needs to go orange again. Here we are, right? We're in the 21st century, high tech and all this. But we have a fucking 70-year-old president that spends his time tweeting like a 15-year-old girl. Yeah. And wow. And I can't even say we anymore. I've been demoted to foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of them there damn foreigners, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just think it's a matter of believing that the people that printed the paper own you or not because they are they're definitely convinced they do see and that's one of those things where um i i kind of i'm of two mi well okay once again we're in those how many minds do i have again um but you have the dollar bill that pretty much is not worth mm. the material it's printed on <sighs> and yep. yet Plus that. The belief in the value 
mm. that, um, <laughs> yes, Grimmy, he's a special breed of mutt. In any case, the belief in the value that is held by so many people, it, I think, is what actually gives it some kind of value. Ding, ding, ding. I agree with you there. Belief is the foundation of reality. If you don't believe something, then it's not real to you, is it? It is your choice to believe whatever you fucking want. Yeah. There's not some things that you, oh, I have to believe it because everybody else does. No, you can oh. be an idiot like me and say, fuck you, show me, prove it. And they'll never prove it, but they'll claim to have the knowledge anyway. Yeah, and well, it's they just a yeah. game I like. They yeah. will claim to have the scientific evidence to back up it. what they're yeah. saying. And they'll never show it to you because it doesn't exist. It's just a story. But it's a good fucking story. <laughs> I tell you what, sometimes though, well, uh, it, it makes you be afraid to go sleep at night. <laughs> not me. I'm never okay, afraid I'm talking, to go to sleep. Well, I'm not afraid to go to sleep. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, damn, that was not a funny bedtime story. Oh, you know, you could tell me a better one than, yeah. Oh, yeah, trying to figure out. I just don't understand how, if you are alive right now, listening to this show, say, for example, mm -hmm. and you know that Oswald did not do anything to Kennedy, then what do you believe <laughs> and why? If, if that already, if you hear Kennedy, Oswald, and know that, oh, CIA, blah, 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 you know the truth about all that, what else in the middle could you possibly find true from then till now? See, and that's the problem. That's where I'm at right now is there are so many huh. things that they get me in the feels, you know. Ah, it, yeah, it, me it too. Fe yep. Yeah, it feels yep. right. And then I see something else and I go, wait a minute here. Mm -hmm. That thing that felt right last week, that's not <laughs> feeling quite <laughs> so kosher anymore. What the hell? You know, so I, re I really am getting more and more to the point and and it's i don't know if it's a good thing or not i'm getting so cynical and so jaded and so okay i like this for now until i figure something else out or hear something else and then i may not like this anymore and that's, i call that learning but it i tell i can see why a lot of people don't go there because it can be quite uncomfortable at times Mmm. Ooh, uncomfortable. Ugh. Yeah, okay. and you know, you have a right to not it's be just... uncomfortable, and that's why they're removing To Kill a Mockingbird, because people get uncomfortable. Oh, good Lord. What a bunch of shit, huh? Yeah. It's it's one of my favorite stories. I watched the movie about, I don't know, I've probably watched it five times since I've been with Cirque. I try to do it when she's not around so she doesn't get tired of it, you know, because it's American and all that. Yeah. But it's one, yeah, one of my favorite Atticus Finch was such a cool guy, you know, and he wasn't a boaster and a bragger. And then he shoots that dog in front of his boy and his boy goes, holy shit. Shut up, son. Not, not that, that rooster around. I'm the best shot in town. Look at me. I'm cool. No, he was a normal guy that had a few skills. You know? mm -hmm. That was it. Wasn't worth talking about. Thank it you, Chloe. See you, hon. Have fun. Sorry. Yo, Chloe. It was yeah. Well, you yell in my ears, dear. But, oh, I know. Uh, I know. When you raise your voice, they don't. They don't. I, maybe they do. I, but I got headphones on. Anyway. Ah. So well, it echoes and reverberates and disturbs your cobwebs. I hate when that happens. That's probably it. Either that, or I need another pipe load. Oh, that could be. <clears throat> but here we are at the end of Dark World. We didn't even give out one dork award or recognize a dork somewhere. Well, Nothing. I'm going to recognize Cowboy Tech as the dork of the week because he shared oh. a really cool thumbnail from Mines, and I really, really thought about hey, sharing Cowboy it. Cowboy Tech. You know, Go and, ahead. Yeah. And the meme is uh, bacteria, and then on the bottom it says the only culture some people have. Uh, <laughs> something along yeah. those lines, and it's like, oh, I like Lover. that one. I like that Ooh. one. Yeah. Let me keep that. That's a keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we are we are doing this again in the following week, right? Uh, Little Missy? Actually, next week, uh, no. I will not be no. here because I will. Next week. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm 
oh, that's not very good. But I'm off the week after that. No, no two weeks, two after. weeks after that. Because see, I next it, week I'm doing secret Grammy yeah. mission stuff. There's, yeah, we're bi- there's we're a soccer bi- tournament that needs to be. Viewed. Yeah, but we're bi-weekly, and I think that sounds weak. <laughs> Never mind. Well, you know we're going to be bi-weekly for. It's going to be bi-weekly a for a while because you know the the Saturday after Thanksgiving I'm going to be gone too. So, yeah, it's like holidays. Fuck <laughs> you. See, that's what the nice thing about being a hermit is out in the middle of nowhere is no well, holidays. I like being a hermit out in the middle of nowhere, but I have family and they actually want to see me. And it's like, wow, you really want to see me? <laughs> I wonder if maybe some of that isn't because, see, I told you, she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because when people start doing that to me, I'm going to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, y'all been listening to The Dork Table here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 3, and on the Spreaker Channel and the RLMRadio.xyz.